any other sources of how you get listed? I know y'all get um, sell by owner. Huh? I'm gonna say sell out. Or sell by owner. Sell by owners. Okay. All right. Expired. Expired. Absolutely. Yeah. Withdrawals. Withdrawals. Yes, ma'am. Um, what I try to do or is just drive around the neighborhood when I'm going out to a subdivision or whatever, because sometimes you can see telltale signs of people getting their house ready, dumpsters, you know, whatever. Yeah. Okay. So I actually stopped in before and was like, hey, get Ooh. ready to sell your house. Awesome. So driving for dollars. Driving for dollars. <laughs> well, that's what they call it. I mean, I love it. I mean, I mean. That's I love to hear y'all. I never even thought about that. Like I do Uber Eats at night and I, I drive past so many different neighborhoods and houses. I never thought about the dumpsters that are sitting outside. Absolutely. Yeah. Something's getting ready to happen. Also, I've never gotten a listing, unfortunately, but um, I would think garage sales. Garage sales. Yeah. I, I know I passed out my card at the garage sale that I had at my local, at my, um, in my subdivision. So hopefully. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. Anybody else? Hopefully. Oh, distressed homeowners. How did well, you get in touch? Or how do you find a distressed home? What is a distressed home? Someone that's like basically pre foreclosure. Pre foreclosure. Mm -hmm. All right. Distressed fire. <laughs> All right. Uh, you can do Zillow. Zillow. Well, what on Zillow can you do? A lot of people, some people here are new guys. I'm just oh. saying. You can search for sale by owners um, on Zillow. We did a whole train about that. All right. Okay. And some of you guys didn't mention like, uh, okay. So let me let me help you all think because I know some of y'all are in sororities. I know some of y'all fraternities. I mean, if I'm an, I'm not in a sorority or fraternity, I'm me by me, right? But if I was, and even if I wasn't, and I wanted to market to like the Deltas and Carolyn's here or the AKAs, I could easily go to those people and say, hey, um, call chapter, local chapter and say, hey, what organizations do you support? Most of those uh, sororities are 5013Cs, right? A 5013C is a nonprofit, which means if you donate to them, you get a tax write off, right? Mm -hmm. So. I would partner with them and say, hey, um, I, this is the, I live in Gwinnett, this is Gwinnett County Deltas and AKAs. Uh, would you guys mind if, uh, every closing if I donate money to your organization? And they go, what do they say? Sure. They go, yeah. And then they go, what? Well, how does that work? Mm -hmm. They market your services throughout their chapter and on every deal you close. Just like we do with Children's Health Care of Atlanta here in Atlanta, we, uh, you donate whatever the number, 50 bucks, 100 bucks, 25 bucks, whatever that number is. Um, and then they market you throughout their organization, right? Anytime mm -hmm. you market to somebody, you must always first think what's in it for them. Mm. What's in it for them? Don't think about what's in it for you, right? What's in it for you? Think about what's in it for them. Anytime I want to market to a new entity, like right now we're doing some stuff with Amazon, UPS, Home Depot, right? I'm saying what's in it for them. And I make my whole list of what's in it for them. And then when we start to call them, that's all the stuff we talk. Hey, this is Joe Smith from the Anthony Thorne Real Estate Team with Guaranteed Home Loans. Um, who can I talk to about donating money to your organization? They go, what? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, I like to do that. Um, I like to donate money to your organization. Yeah, okay, well, you can talk to Sandy. You can bypass a whole lot of people when you start giving money away, right? We did mm -hmm. it with, we're doing it with Northside Hospital here in Atlanta, right? Uh, where they put us on an intranet as every time anybody in their organization that uses our loan company gets $500 uh, credit towards their appraisal, right? These companies want us to do things like this, just so you guys know, because it's an incentive for employee retention, right? So you as a real estate agent may say, every person at every there's some companies, there's some, there's some big companies no matter where you live. I don't care. There's some major employers where you live, right? Any person that um, does a deal with us, we give them a $500 credit for it. They get a free appraisal. They get a free appraisal. 
So what do you care if appraisal costs eight hundred dollars if you're making ten thousand dollars, and you can donate, you can give an employee a uh, free appraisal, and you ask the company if they sponsor any nonprofits or if they have one, and you donate, you know, fifty to hundred dollars towards their nonprofit. What do you care if it costs you a thousand dollars to do it? Because it's all happening after closing or at the closing table, and it's a deal you would have never had. Yeah. I could stop this meeting right here.